Okay, here's a nice little ditty about how to grow epiphyllums. Epiphyllums are these uh, beautiful flowering cacti. And so they're cacti, but they don't really like drought and they don't like full sun. So they grow in the canopy of trees in South America, uh, like countries like Brazil, and uh, they get a lot of water. They're adapted to kind of rainforest, and uh, they open for a day or two, and then they're pollinated mostly by bats. But uh, <clears throat> here's one I had in a, a little hanging basket. I'm gonna put it in a big pot and I've made my own soil mixture, which I'm doing with uh, this is just basically, you find a mulch pile, like a big ass mulch pile at a tree company dump somewhere. And this, after it's, the mulch pile's been sitting out for a few, uh, a few months, maybe even a couple years, you get this, which is when the fungi have broken it down, you can see tree roots are already starting to grow up from the bottom. Uh, the trees will, this is a mulch pile near an oak tree, and the oak tree, because this stuff is so rich, that re, the roots had started to grow up into the mulch pile from the soil down below. Anyway, this is uh, basically the mulch, once the fungi and the nematodes and the worms and others should have broken it down, you get this kind of fluffy, puffy, whatever the fuck it's called. It's basically just the the lignin after it's been broken down by microorganisms. Take that, this, uh, you can you normally get this like, you know, beneath the, the top foot of the mulch pile. So you gotta find a mulch pile somewhere, hit up tree companies, find if, uh, find, you know, if you see a mulch pile that's been there for a long time, like a municipal refuse um, uh, yard or whatever, and you get this stuff. This is, this is gold. This stuff is really good, and it's normally got a lot of that fungi and other, beneficial fungi and other stuff left over in it. Uh, beneficial fungi and bacteria. Then you mix that with uh, with some perlite and uh, basically just to improve aeration. Perlite or pumice rock. I use perlite because it's cheaper and not as heavy. It's got a high carbon load though because it's been it's been blasted. So you do that and mix that and then you put it in a big fucking pot like this. Three gallon. Throw the epiphyllum in there and then you gotta water water with a fertilizer. I use Max C. The label's out this but it's basically an algae fertilizer. Um, the more you fertilize, the more these things are going to go off. So I'll dump some of that in there. And uh, that's how you end up with those. These, they're in smaller containers, but what I did with those is soak them in a bucket. I'd put them in a bucket and then uh, just let them sit in a bucket full of water with a little bit of that maxi in it for a day or two uh, on warm days. And uh, yeah, that's why they're blooming like that right now. I, I haven't, I've had those probably three or four years, never seen them bloom like that. So that's that. Epiphyllums, man. A lot of diversity, a lot of cultivars. Um, but yeah, that's what they like. So I'll put this in like an area that gets morning sun or bright shade and then just kind of keep it moist, not soaked. 